वेलकम टू दी यूट्यूब चैनल जस्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे वी विल लर्न क्लास एट मैथ्स चैप्टर बेसिक्स ऑफ मैथ्स दिस इज पार्ट टू सो इन दिस पार्ट वी विल लर्न अबाउट डेसिमल्स सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स एंड एक्सेट्रा फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न अबाउट डेसिमल so there are two types of decimals terminating decimal and non terminating decimal terminating decimals are decimals that stop after a some places after a decimal points example is 0.356 in this example we can see that terminating decimals are decimals after decimal point and some places of numbers the answer stops is called terminating example is 8 upon 
about prime numbers and even numbers sorry uh, we will learn about even numbers and odd numbers their definition is so even numbers and odd numbers definition is first even numbers definition is the integers which are exactly divisible by 2 are called even numbers example 2 4 6 are all even numbers also minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 etc are even numbers e is the set of all even integers the general form of an even number is 2n where n belongs to the set of integers now odd numbers the integers which are not exactly divisible by 2 are called odd numbers example 1 3 5 etc are odd numbers very odd number every odd number is denoted by is obtained by adding 1 to every even number example 3 is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 after that 7 is equal to 6 plus 1 hence the general form of an odd number is 2n plus 1 where and belongs to the set of integers now there are some property of even and odd numbers so first property is sum of two even numbers is even we can take any two even numbers like 18 plus 16 these both are even numbers and after adding them the answer become 34 that is also in even number now second property is sum of two odd numbers is even two odd numbers we can take any two odd numbers like 3 plus 9 9 10 11 3 plus 9 that is 11 or uh, and uh it is 12 and 12 is an even number so this property also holds now the third property is sum of an even number and an odd number is odd so we can take any even number and any one odd number any one even number is 2 plus odd number is 7 7 8 9 this becomes 9 and 9 is an odd number so this property is also true fourth question is square of an even number is even so the fourth property is square of an even number is even even number we can say like 4 square 4 square is equal to 16 and 16 is a even number fifth is square of an odd number is odd so any odd number we can take like 9 square and 9 square is 81 that is an odd number sixth question is sum of squares of two even numbers is even two even numbers we can say 
टू स्क्वायर प्लस टेन स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर इज फोर प्लस टेन स्क्वायर इज हंड्रेड वन जीरो फोर दैट इज एन इवन नंबर नाउ द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी प्रॉपर्टी नंबर सेवन सेवन इज सम ऑफ स्क्वायर ऑफ टू ऑर्ड नंबर इज इवन सो एनी टू ऑर्ड नंबर वी कैन टेक एस थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव स्क्वायर इक्वल टू थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन प्लस फाइव स्क्वायर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज थर्टी वन सॉरी थर्टी फोर एंड दिस इज एन ऑर्ड इवन नंबर so this property is also true now its property is sum of two squares of an even number is an odd number and an odd number is odd even and odd so we can take 2 raised to 2 plus 3 raised to 2 that is equal to 4 plus 9 that is 11 That is thirteen, thirteen, and this is a odd number. Now, question number nine is difference of two even numbers is even twelve minus six. We can take is equal to six, so this is also an even number. Next question ten is. We can take difference of two odd numbers is even. Two odd numbers nine minus five we can take. That is four and this is an even. So this property also true. Eleventh is difference of an even number and an odd number is odd. Even number we can take as eight. Eight minus odd number we can take as five. Is equal to three. That is odd. Twelfth quite twelfth property is product of two even numbers is even. Example is eight into four equal to thirty two and that is an even number. Thirteenth property is product of two odd numbers is odd. An odd number is five into three equal to fifteen. That is an odd number. Fourteenth property is Product of an even number and an odd number is even. Any even number we can take two multiplied by odd odd number we can take seven equal to fourteen and this is an even number. Fifteenth is square root of an even number which is a perfect square is even. so the perfect square we can take a square root of an even number like 64 64 is the square root of 8 and this is even now the last property is property number 16 is Square root of an odd number, which is a perfect square, is odd. We can take root eighty one, and perfect square it is. So answer is nine. This is the answer. So all properties are true, and I hope you have understood every property. Now. this was the
part 2 i hope you have understood everything for any queries and doubt you can join the telegram link given in the description of this video i hope you have understood everything thank you for watching